Yeah, hey. Go wild, go crazy. So free, man, like I'm driving Miss Daisy. Might go stupid, brain go lazy. Time rewinds, tell the devil don't take me. Dancing with the devil and she wild with the tango. Spicy with the salsa, out on the table. Higher than a kite and her eyes red and hazel. Looking past the surface, baby, I don't see an angel. Oh, this one's for the bad girls. Wanna see you slow it down, move it faster. Baby, bring it to the ground, let me catch ya. Baby, turn it right around, throw it backwards. This is the Honda NSF 250R, the Moto3 race bike developed by HRC Honda Racing Corporation and this bike has been participating in the Moto3 World Championship at the prestigious MotoGP since 2012. Today I give you a quick overview of what makes this bike completely insane and later on in the video we'll have Mr. Chandan Singh from Honda Motorsports team HMSI walking us through the crazy tech that defines this machine. Now this bike has already won the constructor's title for Honda in 2015. Just to give you guys an idea as to what makes this a complete race spec track focused machine when we compare it with the production spec CBR250R the overall length of the NSF is down by 220. 21 mm compared to the CBR, width is down by 160 mm, and the overall height is down by 90 mm. The wheelbase of the CBR is 1369 mm, whereas for the NSF it is just 1219 mm, which makes it ultra compact to cut through corners like a hot knife through butter. Seat height is lower as well at just 729 mm. So, all of this, along with the streamlined bodywork and razor sharp aerodynamics, make sure that the racer and the bike become one unstoppable force on the track circuit. Now let's talk about what makes this machine an absolute monster. Powering this bike is a 249.3 cc liquid cooled single cylinder engine with a DOHC setup that puts out 48.3 PS of max power at 13,000 RPM and 28 Newton meters of max torque at 10,500 RPM. We get a 6 speed gearbox. And the thing that will make your jaw hit the ground is that this bike weighs a mere 84 kgs. Yes, you heard it right, just 84 kilos, which gives this bike a power to weight ratio of 575 PS per ton, which is higher than the likes of the Pagani Zonda and the Bugatti Veyron, which is are you nuts category. The frame is made up of 7000 series aluminium alloy. We do get a steering damper, fully adjustable front and rear suspension, clip-ons and rear set foot pegs that are adjustable as per rider preference. Performing braking duties is a 296mm front disc and 186mm rear disc. There is no ABS which is obvious because this is a track bike. Talking about tyres, we get 17 inch wheels with a 90 section front and a 120 section rear tyre. And these are track spec slick tyres from Dunlop. Tank capacity is 11 litres. So now that I've given you guys a quick overview, let's see what Chandan sir has to say about this motorcycle. So this is the HRC built purely race machine NSF 250R and first time we introduced this uh, in Indian circuits to develop the Indian riders in international manner and to give them chance to participate in international events. So this machine is purely race built machines and this machine is uh, uh, imported from Honda Motor Japan as Honda Racing Corporation and the entire uh, all spare part, tires, everything we are importing from Japan. So uh, we are trying to develop the Indian riders because our vision is to develop an iconic riders for national and international racing events. So with the help of Honda Racing Corporations, we are developing Indian riders with the help of NSF and we have all tools and equipments with us uh, as uh, international standard. So based on that, we are maintaining the machines. We have the standard guidelines uh, prescribed by Honda Racing Corporations. So before every race, we are maintaining this machine by our Indian technicians only. So you would like to elaborate on a few things like the chassis, the swing arm, the see, gearbox? Uh, if you see that machine, uh, that uh, chassis is purely aluminum alloys, very lightweight uh, chassis. We have the tires, uh, the imported tires, the slick tires. Okay. And uh, we already put that tire warmer on that uh, tires to maintain the temperature of tire. 
and the yeah, upside fox and disc is all race specs and swing arm is also, swing arm is also the, this is a purely race build machine so and uh, there is no battery i suppose in this no no, no in the, there is no battery in this machine so we have a special machine to start this uh, ah, yes. bike They're just opening up the cowls to give us a clear look of the motorcycle. So you see the build of the machine, it is very compact design, purely race specs. You see the muffler of machine. So during the crash, the muffler will be safe. So this is a first hand exclusive look at a True Moto 3 machine and uh, stripped bare and giving you all the insight into how the technology works giving you guys a close up view bare minimum weight the console the chassis the swing arm so the tank and the tail is sculpted to perfection a gas charged rear shock absorber so uh, we are maintaining the record of every race every minor settings and lap by lap timing yeah. so and after the race our technician discussing with that riders for his feedback how was the machine is there any uh, uh, this improvement is required yeah just fine tuning need so to be done all done on a constant feedback basis yeah Okay. The, after every session, we session. are sitting with the riders, okay. technician and riders. So we are noting the uh, rider request and based on the technician is fixing machine. And the level of attention that these guys are giving is phenomenal. Each bike gets one individual technician to stay with the bike and one individual setting. So the rider gets the same bike, the same technician he's working with throughout the course of uh, this uh, round or uh, uh, the time that he spends with the machine. Yes, sir. Because in racing, that apart from bike, the technician is very, very important. Yeah. That combination of rider and technician is very, very important. So based on the rider feedback, technician is understanding his request and then he's fixing the machine uh, for the perfect uh, race competitions. So hats off to you, sir, for, uh, you know, giving uh, the Indian racing such a, you know, dedicated kind of uh, uh, attention and uh, detail and uh, giving them exposure to an international level prepping this young uh, talent and uh, you know preparing them for uh, you know battling it out on the world stage and maybe uh, if everything goes well and these guys uh, shine really brightly i think uh, we are all set to look at moto gp in the future yes sir that is our dream actually that is our vision so we are trying hard and one fine day will the tricolor will fly in at moto 3 moto 2 level tricolor when he said i got goosebumps that has been my dream as well uh, so glad sir hats off to you salute to your efforts so this is where the dream begins watch out moto gp because indians are coming and we are coming fast yeah hey. Go wild, go crazy. So free, man, like I'm driving Miss Daisy. Might go stupid, brain go lazy. Time rewinds, tell the devil, don't take me. Dancing with the devil and she wild with the tango. Spicy with the sauce and piled on the table. Higher than a kite and her eyes red and hazel. Looking past the surface, baby, I don't see an angel. Uh, this one's for the bad girls. Wanna see you slow it down, move it faster. Baby, bring it to the ground, let me catch ya Baby, turn it right around, throw it backwards 